Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars 6 inch black series review. This time I have the Walmart exclusive Scarif Stormtrooper. Uh, not to be confused with the one from the standard line, the Stormtrooper, the Scarif Stormtrooper leader, or Shore Trooper if you like. Um, firstly, gotta give a massive thanks to a good friend of mine, Fallen Jedi. Um, not overly active on YouTube anymore, but um, I s we still keep in touch through Instagram. And um, yeah, he was really kind kind enough to pick up he actually picked up two of these for me and sent them over um i got them earlier last week um so many thanks many thanks for them uh i was super excited to have them i completely forgot he was gonna send them out for me I, I, he said he got me one i was I definitely wasn't expecting two um so i've got a package to send back send out to him hopefully i can do that this week um but yeah, just super excited to have this figure in my collection, let alone two of them. Um, yeah, I was super impressed and uh, extremely happy with this figure. Um, so we'll have a good look at him. Like I said, Walmart exclusive. So yeah, he was going to be very tough for me to find here in Australia because we don't have Walmarts. And um, yeah, to get it on eBay, it was there's some ridiculous prices out there. Um, and people that are getting it in in Australia and selling on they're sort of bumping up the price to the 60 70 dollar mark which you know I'm not going to pay that <laughs> I'd rather go without than pay that so but um yeah it's that's that's the best thing about the um YouTube communities we've got friends from all over the world that can help each other out and that's 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 a really good thing um there's yeah definitely an upside to the whole social networking thing online is that yeah we've got we can have friends from all over the world and yeah help each other out with our collections and that's and that's awesome but anyway on to this guy his weapon he comes with he comes with an e11 blaster rifle and it's got some nice nicely painted details you can sort of which they've sort of gone away from recently but this has got some sort of you can sort of see a bit of scuffing there on this on the stock and a few little marks on the back and saying there's a few little scuff marks there and just some other marks silver markings on it and yeah it looks good it really adds a little bit of depth to it if they just pay that little bit of detail to every weapon they put out it would be fantastic because we've got some that are plain plus solid black plastic we've got some that are gray and then we've got ones like this that are nicely painted and it just you know that little bit of effort just adds that much more to the figure so um onto the figure itself i did stay in the review of the uh squad leader which i have here for comparison so you can just sort of see uh, firsthand what the differences are so you got the karma on this one and a sort of ammo pouch up here and just the colors this one's got blue this one's got some sort of standard colours. But uh, yeah, I did rave a great deal <laughs> about how much I really like this uh, this armour and the design of this figure. So I'm not going to rattle through too much more. Um, again, like this, I, I just spent a good portion of that video raving about the armour and how much I liked it. But the weathering on this thing is just sweet and I'm going to try and zoom up just on the chest there there's the helmet you can see some weathering around that sort of you know very biker scout-esque sort of face mask there and just all around this figure you can sort of see on the arm there some nice weathering on the front of the armor and then down to the uh, shin armor Just, yeah just really nice paintwork I really like that ammo pouch there I think that looks great and the, the red there that they've left on these is quite striking and I like the nice white band on the shoulder there just shows how much different this color armor is to the regular stormtroopers which would be that standard white just a really really good figure Articulation is the same. Um, he's got the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists. He's got the torso joint there. He's got ball hinged hips, swivel at the thighs. 
um, double jointed knees and ball hinged ankles so just awesome all round articulation and you can hear my dogs going crazy in the background I can hear them you probably can't but yeah just another all round awesome Star Wars action figure for this series I wish it would sort of come out in the standard line um, these army builders you know they could have put the this one as a Walmart exclusive and have the squad leader as an exclusive and that just allows everyone to army build this put two in a wave put three in a wave um, or put two sorry in a per case um, just chuck it in every case assortment for the next few waves and you know you've got a very happy customer base that is everyone's getting a chance to get a get a couple of these each if you chuck a couple in each case assortment um, because the wave this guy was in here and he had two new two other new figures which was Krennic and and I'm blanking on it right now the sorry the Force Awakens 3PO um, so yeah they could have you know the other three figures they could have packed in three more of these per case um, sent out the cases of six with three of these shore troopers and you know while they're in stores everyone gets a chance to buy them um, doesn't sound that silly to me so I don't know why they're doing it anyway guys thank you very very much for watching I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below um, and thanks again to Fallen Jedi I really do appreciate it man um, I'm sure you watch this I, I know you sort of said you catch up on my video so thank you very much um, and stay tuned for my next video guys until the next one see you later